In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the debug session, which is a capability in the Azure Data Factory Dataflow feature. So let's start by creating a new Dataflow first. Okay, so now once you're in the Dataflow design surface, you'll see a toggle switch for debug. Let's turn it on, and we'll point to the database cluster that we're going to use for debugging, and then we'll click Start. That will enter us into the debug mode for our data flow. This is a great way to design and build and debug your data flows because this way you will have live interaction with your database cluster in your data so that you can see whether or not the data transformations are achieving the goal and the task that you have that you're trying to achieve with your data flow. So our session is started. Let's start by adding a source, which is the first thing you do when you build a data flow in uh, Data Factory. Uh, I will get a pop-up until my um, data flows and my transformations are valid. So right now I have a new source, but I've not defined my data set for it, so give me a pop-up on that. I'm going to pick a movies uh, CSV file that I have that has a pretty good set of data that we can use to work with for this example. We're not going to use schema drift. That's when we don't have a schema. I do have a schema defined, so let's pull that in from my data set. And everything looks good here, but let's make the string, let's make the year into an integer, and we'll do the ratings as integers as well. Okay, so I think we should be good now. So let's go ahead and on the inspect tab now you're going to see a new section called data preview. When you click on fetch, that'll go and get the results of the um, data from the database cluster. So I'll be able to see a preview of my data. The output schema is your metadata. Uh, the output schema just tells you uh, the ordering um, and the column names and the types for those columns. The data preview is actually going out to get the data, and you can see the data as it changes throughout your transform. But here in this case, we're on the source transform, so we're just seeing the data as it exists from the source system. That looks fine, looks good. Now, as you click through the, um, the different columns within your data preview, you'll also be able to um, get back statistics about the columns within the uh, data set that you have. Um, if you don't want to bring in all the data because perhaps you have a large data set, I don't have a large data set for this demo, you can go to source settings though and you can adjust the number of rows that we sample or limit for your debug session. That way you don't have to bring in the entire data set when you are working with the um, with your data. But you can see that we can surface to you um, some information such as how many nulls are present within your um, um, within your source and the number of rows that came back and the min-max length and whatnot. So if you look at something, for example, on my year column, I have this um, this bogus state in here of negative uh, 1980. Uh, so the range of the values will show up in here as well. And you can see that we go all the way down to this incorrect value of uh, negative 1980 all the way up to 2016. You get variance percentiles, the average value uh, being 1990, and whether that be September, October and then standard deviation. So we are able to surface for you information uh, for profiling every data within the debug session. So again, this is all part of the debug session, and this is the data profile and data preview piece. So then you can start building your transformations on top of that, and you can see the results of your um, of your data flow as you transform the data. So uh, something that we'd want to do here is drive a new column. Or in this case, let's do this. Let's, um, let's trim some of the, um, let's take away any of the parentheses within those titles, just have a nice clean title. So let's call this clean title. Open expression in here. Now I'm gonna do a separate video because I wanna dive deep into the um, data preview within here within the expression editor, which is very powerful because now you can build your expression. You can see whether or not the expression that you're building is actually what you want it to be. So I'm gonna save that um, for the uh, next video. But as you build your expression, you'll be able to also um, view the output of that. So let's just put something in here as a placeholder so that we can make our um, data flow valid and we can get the output. When you're making expressions within data flow, you can just use any of the input columns by itself and just replicate that value. And actually, I can, I can show you that on here. So if you do a preview, what you'll see is you'll see the output that you're going to get from your expression. And I, my expression is just the name of a field, a column. And then you also get the, um, the, the incoming column that you're using as well. So this is creating a, a new field called clean title, which is really in this case, just to be simple, is just the title. So you see the values are the same on both sides. Good enough for this demo. And now let's sync that somewhere. Let's put that into, you, by the way, you don't need to sync. You, you saw how I'm able to iteratively 
from left to right construct my data flow without the requirement of having a sync. But let's go ahead and put a sync on there, and um, it's invalid until I set up, uh, hook that up to a data set. So I do have a movie output, I believe. I do right there, it's a sync. So by the way, this whole movies database, these movie CSVs are available to you in the uh, in the samples when you build a new data factory with Dataflow. Um, it's in the demos, and you get a movie demo, a taxi demo, and a currency converter. And all the data that make up this demo is available to you in the uh, GitHub repo for the documentation under sample data. So you can find that in the rest of the documentation on the GitHub for data factory data flow as well. So we're going to sync it. Uh, for mapping, automatic mapping is fine. We go into inspect. Let's uh, go ahead and fetch the preview, but I want to do show you the output scheme as well because you will see that in my metadata, I do have my new column called clean title. It's now attached, and I'm going to sync that. Uh, in this case, I'm just putting it back into Blob Store, so I'm not moving it into a database. Um, we're able to see the number of columns that were um, changed or dropped through this transform, and all we're doing is just mapping, so it's seven to seven, and then you get the data. And again, you can also do the preview, you can do the profiling on the data here as well. So I can look at the results of my uh, drive column, my tr uh, my clean title, and we can look at how that, um, what the statistics for that value look like in terms of nulls. Not nulls, there are no nulls. Minimum length is one, max length is 151. Okay, so that's it for this demo of uh, the debug session within Azure Data Factory's data flow. Thanks for watching.